Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflator Mouse. Today we have some more 3D printed slugs. These were made by Tim from Tactical G Code, who normally machines slugs for us, and in this case he decided to try his hand at some 3D printing. I gave these slugs a light dusting of silver paint, hoping it'll help uh, make them show up better on camera. These slugs are very lightweight. They have a copper core in the center, making them a little more nose heavy and still the slugs are very long and as you know our history of shooting long slugs like this hasn't been very good. Our first shot will be done with a shell with a full charge in it. The other two will have a reduced powder charge. Okay 3D printed round. Shot one. Hit it. I think it went straight through it in the center. This first shot using a full powder charge completely shattered the slug. We anticipated this might be a problem, so the other two shots were done with a reduced powder charge. And we'll see if that makes a difference or not. Okay, shot two with the reduced charge. Are you rolling, Darren? Yep. Okay, hit it. Hey, a bigger hole. Shot two had the same problem as shot number one. The slug completely shattered. But this gives you an idea how much force a slug is under when it's shot from a shotgun. That, sh that G-shock is a tremendous amount of force being applied to any slug. Okay, shot three, reduce power, hit it. <laughs> there goes a piece of it. And finally, shot number three, same problem. I don't know the specifics of what Tim used as the fill material for these slugs or the uh, how much fill he used and all that, but if anything this gives us a, a important learning lesson. You learn a lot more from your mistakes than you do from your uh, accomplishments sometimes. Michael used a completely different approach when he designed his 3D printed pellets that we shot. Ooh. Went right through it. Yeah. He was able to solve a lot of the problems that we had with our other slugs that we have shot. He used a pellet shape, which is a proven aerodynamic shape. But the thing that made a huge difference was Michael chemically treated these slugs to make them much harder. They didn't shatter. They flew beautifully, and they were very accurate. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be filming some more videos soon when the weather gets better. Thanks for watching.